God's Word, the standard for life with Prophet TB Joshua. You are faithful. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Indeed, God is with us. Viewers all over the world, where can we go from His presence? In your home? In your offices? In your businesses? In your car? Inside you? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. As Christians, I mean, as children of God, our Heavenly Father is concerned about us. He wants us to be physically healed and spiritually saved. Therefore, we are here for a relationship forever with Him. And the Bible says that when our minds are in a relationship with God Almighty, hard times, crises, or difficulties cannot affect such a relationship. Because any relationship that is rooted in God is permanent and can stand the test of time. As people of God, Sometimes we work very hard and pray fervently without a corresponding reward for our efforts. But remember, it is in the mind of God to answer prayers, even when he seems not to respond immediately to our petitions, he is still saying something which we may not understand because of our limitation in the things of the Spirit. Of course, in such moments, God may be saying, be patient, my son, be patient, my daughter, be patient, my children, for there is a time and season for everything. When it is time for God's purpose to be made manifest, in your life, there will be a driving force that will change your actions and location. As a child of God, when you are in a situation that seems to project failure and no hope for the future, be careful. I mean, find out God's opinion about that situation before you take any action so that you will not end up fighting against your own destiny, so that you will not end up rejecting God's purpose for your life. Remember, the way and manner God executes his plans in our lives differ. Therefore, let his will be done. Tell someone next to you, let his will be done. done. Again? Thank you. This is exactly the message. And without much to do, turn with me quickly to the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 6. 
verses 7 and then 9 to 11. The royal administrators have all agreed that the king should issue an edict and enforce the decree that anyone who prays to any god or man during the next 30 days except to you, O king, shall be thrown into the lion's den. Now let's go to verses 9 to 11. So King Darius put the decree in writing. Now when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened towards Jerusalem. Three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. Then these men went as a group and found Daniel praying and asking God for help. From this text, we are made to understand that when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he did not despair or rebel against God Almighty. Instead, he simply went on his knees and gave thanks to his God three times. That same day, he learned about the publication of the decree, just as he had always done. This clearly depicts that great men simply have great habits. When Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he did not despair or rebel against God Almighty concerning the unpleasant situation at hand. Instead, he went on his knees and gave thanks to his God. That same day, he learned about the publication of the decree, just as he had always done. He never allowed the situation on ground to dictate the direction of his prayer. People would expect Daniel to go on his knees and start saying, God, I rebuke that decree, I rebuke that decree, I rebuke that decree. No. The Bible says he went on his knees and gave thanks to God. Wow. What a man of faith he was. The moment the decree was published, Daniel knew the danger involved in praying to his God. Yet, he never allowed such a tense situation to change his habit of praying several times daily or reduce his trust and confidence in his God. Instead of renouncing his faith, the Bible says, Daniel went on his knees and gave thanks to his God, saying, Lord, I thank you for being with me. I know that you are always with me. You are my deliverer. Whether you deliver me or not, in this situation, I have no reason to doubt your ability to deliver. My Lord and my Savior, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done. 
Let your will be done. Let your will be done in my life. Let your will. 